scandal at the Daily Mail called us. Oh, all too well. <laughs> Shelley's full, girls. Quote, Mr. Shelley is a bad poet. Like a bad tennis player, his verse is forever smashed into the net and fall to the ground. <laughs> but Mr. Shelley is lucky. Two beautiful girls crouch on the sidelines, waiting to pick up his balls. <laughs> oh, a journalism. The real world. Damn you, sir. Your destiny may be to be eaten by crabs and fishes, but mine is not, sir. You are never sayer, sir. My lord, I do protest. Master, you, do you? That a people of quality upon the beach go off, sir. My lord, go off and drown, damn you. I will have none of your damn foolery. Off to Neptune, <laughs> the watery dryads up your arsehole, sir. It's <sighs> clear, my dear. My lord. No, no request, no words. I am lathered horribly. <laughs> Mrs. Mary Shelley. Mary, my lord Byron. <laughs> my lord. <laughs> <laughs> I am cursed with the fool of a boating companion. The Lord keep us from the fantasies of our sycophants. There are some people who are like leeches. They hang on, you flick at them to brush them off, but they stick. <laughs> and my ah, lord, this. yes. A younger poet. What do you write on, sir? I write on gin and soda water at night till dawn. Damn important to pace yourself, I find. As the sun riseth, so doth the gin in the glass. <laughs> Mr. Shelley does not drink. 